wanted to update y'all really quick because I didn't even film any of this coming to the hospital. As you can see, I'm in the hospital. I literally recorded that video yesterday of my six month update. This light is really nice, let me turn this way. So I woke up around midnight last night. I was just like, my stomach was hurting, but it wasn't nothing. I was just like, okay, it is what it is. Tried to go back to sleep, couldn't go back to sleep. So I wanna say maybe around three or four, I was in and out of sleep, but my stomach will randomly just start hurting like 10 minutes here, 10 minutes there or whatever. So I'm not thinking nothing of it. Once it got to maybe around five in the morning, I'm like, okay, I think these are contractions. It was kind of like every 10 minutes or so. So I'm like, okay, the pain will come, then it will go, then it'll come, then it'll go. I'm like, these must be contractions. I woke up like around 7.30 after my husband put my son on a bus and my stomach was hurting really bad. And then it stopped and then it became again and it was coming like i was like okay let me just time it so like every five minutes or so i was having contractions so i'm like oh man so i instantly called my doctor because i had an appointment this morning instantly called my doctor she told me she would meet me at the er and i came up here to the er and i've been here since don't have any lip gloss y'all so <laughs> this is what y'all get like I had, I did these little pigtails just last night. I literally just put on some clothes, came to labor and delivery, and I've been here since then. I'm super tired, but they ran tests and everything, and it was just a minor scare. Um, the contractions were because of dehydration, and I'm, y'all know I'm always drinking water. But I guess yesterday I didn't really drink that much water because I went to sleep super early yesterday. So I didn't really drink that much water yesterday. So I didn't realize that dehydration can cause contractions. So they said, you know, my cervix looked good. Everything looked good. And it was just because I was dehydrated. So they gave me some Tylenol and, you know, hooked me up to an IV. And everything's been, you know, good so far. So... They're going to release me, but she asked me that I just want to stay overnight. Oh, well, they did give me a steroid shot, too, just in case, you know, if they were going to have to deliver the baby. And it was painful. Yeah, if y'all never had a steroid shot, I hope you never get it. But, um, yeah, they gave me a steroid shot, and I'll have to get another one 24 hours. The shot itself took about two seconds. It burned for about eight minutes. I had to get the steroid shots with my son, so I don't remember it burning like that. I, I knew it burned, but that was five years ago. It burns, but yeah, I'm fine. I'm not really having contractions anymore. I'm cramping just a little bit, but I'm sure that'll subside too. So I'll be here till tomorrow morning, and they'll come and give me another steroid shot, then release me. I'm so relieved everything is good. I did not. I'm like, this baby cannot be coming right now. I just wanted to let y'all know. I think that's pretty much it, y'all. So, I'm about to go to sleep because I haven't been asleep since. Oh, oh, I got like maybe five hours yesterday when I woke up at midnight. <laughs> My stomach cramping. I'm going to watch some Law & Order SVU. And just go to sleep of course if anything changes i'll pick up the camera do a video tomorrow when they release me just for the vlog yeah i get to go home today and i'm so excited <sighs> yeah i already put on my clothes and everything <sighs> that damn alarm i'm so ready i'm just waiting for them to take this IV out i had my second steroid shot it hurt like all hell but <laughs> I get to go home and take a shower. I haven't showered since yesterday. No, since the day before yesterday. Because we came to the hospital at like 9 yesterday morning. So I didn't even shower yesterday morning because I showered the day before yesterday night. So I'm sorry to just jump in the shower and just get clean and lay down in my own bed and go to sleep without that monitor on my stomach. Yeah, my lips dry, my hair all raggedy. I didn't have a bonnet last night. Like, it is what it is. Hello. 
<laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> so you guys, I'm headed back up to the hospital because I haven't felt the baby move since we kind of left the hospital yesterday. Like I feel slight movements, but she's not moving as nearly as much as she used to. And they said I need to feel at least 10 movements every two hours. I definitely haven't gotten that. So I'm headed back up to the hospital. Hopefully everything's good. I think she's fine in there. She probably just resting. So, you know, I would just prefer to be on the safe side. I don't want to sit in the hospital again, but it is what it is when you're pregnant. So I brought my book with me and I just wanted to let y'all know what was going on because I didn't even add the hospital clip to my seven month update. And I mean my six month update and I just posted that earlier. I brought some Tums with me too because I have a major heartburn right now. Once I get an update or something, I'll keep y'all posted. Yeah, I look a ratchet mess. Anywho, I'm still in the hospital room. They're about to discharge me. Her heart rate was fine. Everything was normal. Like even while they had the heart rate monitor on me, you can hear her move on the monitor, but I can feel her move. They listened to her heart rate. Yeah, my lip is dry and everything. I look a mess. They heard her heart rate on the monitor and they listened to it for about 30, 45 minutes. And then they came and took it off and the doctor came and pressed on my stomach for like three minutes. She, this little girl did not move. So that's why she ordered an ultrasound technician to come. So the ultrasound technician came. She still, she did a slight move when the ultrasound technician came in and I was able to see it and I felt it a little bit. The ultrasound technician had the thing on my stomach for like 20 minutes. She did not move. <laughs> So they were waiting to see her cause she said babies practice, they're breathing or whatever. So they waited about 15 minutes and she finally practiced her breathing. And they, you know, that was it. So now I'm waiting for the doctor to come and tell me what the results and everything is gonna be. But uh, the nurse did say that they was gonna discharge me. So I'm waiting for the doctor to come tell me so then I can be discharged so I can go home and eat because I haven't eaten either. It's almost four o'clock in the afternoon now, but I'm drinking my water, staying hydrated because we ain't doing them contractions no more. But yeah, I just want to give y'all an update and I guess I'm going to put that other hospital video. Hmm, I just felt her. She moved slightly. Come on, little girl. Go ahead and move around in now. I guess I'm going to put that other hospital video and this video together and upload that probably tomorrow or something. But yep, yeah, that's it and that's all. When she starts to move, I'll update y'all on that. I have to get used to looking at this lens part and not up there. It's going to take me some time because I, you know, of course that's letting me know what I look like. That's how I know I look a mess. Uh, some told me put on lip gloss before I came up in this hospital, but I'm almost seven months pregnant. In four more days, I'll be seven months pregnant. And at this point, it don't even matter that these lips is dry. <laughs> okay, y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all. Toodles.